Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and a quick answer to someone that's been with PCs obviously for a while, um, and that uh, doesn't necessarily go uh, to the um, startup tab in Windows uh, very often to see what starts up with your computer. Uh, once again, I'll just say it that there's a startup uh, tab in uh, in Windows 10 and 11. It's in the Task Manager. It's what used to come up when we would type msconfig in Windows 7 and before. And msconfig would have a startup tab where you would see everything that starts with your PC uh, in the software that you have installed. And you can, of course, switch off or on the startup process to speed up your PC if you want to. So the question that came is um, the uh, user wanted to try FMS config and doesn't understand that it doesn't work like it used to. And the reason is, both in Windows 10 and 11, you have to right-click your Start button and there go into Task Manager. Here, you will see that in the Task Manager, in some of the, um, the options that you have, Startup Apps is one of them. This is where you want to check out what's starting with your PC. If you want to you know, speed up your PC, uh, you can disable apps that are starting here. So you just choose the apps, disable everything you don't want to have, and then you know this technically should help your PC speed up a little bit at startup. It also will help your PC run faster if you're, especially if you're low on RAM, and even with the background processes always there, um, you know, you can have this um, stay it disabled or leave it disabled so that it doesn't run in the background and slow down your PC. Once again, it's more noticeable on an older machine, but it's a great way to speed up things a little bit. Um, so this is what's derived from the uh, Microsoft configuration that we used to have in Windows 7 and before. It they integrated that with Task Manager, which I think is fine. Uh, why have all sorts of separate things here and there? And uh, if you're not sure what to disable, what should you disable or not? Um, what I suggest all the time is disable one and restart and see if it changes anything in the behavior of your PC. Um, and also be logical. What do you want to disable? You shouldn't disable security things. Anything that has to do with security should technically be uh, disabled, uh, enabled, sorry. And everything that is uh, other types of software, it depends. Why do they put these in here? Uh, for a simple reason. The reason that an app wants to be at the startup status enabled is because it makes it faster for the first start. So you'll install a new program in your PC. You notice it appeared in the startup tab. It's enabled. That's because when you start your computer, that program, part of it will actually load in RAM memory. So it's faster if you ask you know, you want to use it or anything. For example, Edge is here. And if you, the reason they have it in the Started tab is that if you click Enable, the first start, the first time you click Edge to use it, it's going to be much faster than when it's disabled. And the reason is when it's disabled, it doesn't load up in RAM. So it has to do that process that it had, didn't do when you start up your computer. So you can go one at a time, see what you want to keep. Some of them you might know what you want to keep. Some you want to might you want to uh, maybe disable it, um, and it will have an impact in general in the startup of your PC. Once again, mostly in situation where your PC might be slower, um, magnetic hard drive, um, also um, low RAM. If you don't have a lot of RAM memory, the minimum processes and memory is the best. And um, hopefully this can uh, speed up, especially your older machines. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.